Hello everybody, Charlie's Cards here. Handle with care. So today, I was able to bid on a really neat item. And the guy, really awesome uh, seller too. I like once in a while. Lately, I've, I've, you got to really work at it. You want to find a deal on eBay nowadays. And unfortunately, the only deals I'm finding is if the box comes from Taiwan or somebody is, actually has integrity. So I got a box here. Handle with care. He did a great job of uh, wrapping this all up. Handle with care. So let's see what's inside here. <clears throat> he put newspaper all around it. I can do the crossword puzzle. All right. I haven't done one of them in a while. Yeah. I mean, he packaged it like he didn't want anything to get damaged. Congratulations, sir. You did a good job. Look at this. So... 1987 Don Ross Baseball Puzzle and Cards Box. Just the box. And some goodies inside. Bubble wrapped. I mean, you know. So we're going to spend most of the time probably, excuse me, opening this up. So that's beautiful. And then what do we got on the back? All right, so we got a little bit of paper, Lost Jose Canseco. That's a really cool Jose Canseco. Uh, Dale Murphy, the uh, Roberto Clemente puzzle, and uh, Jeff Reardon. So he included the box in the sale. And for a measly... Twenty dollars uh, included a the box. Holy mackerel! This guy got on it. Look at that. More bubble wrap. Greatly appreciated when somebody uh, actually, you know, is a is a card collector and they uh, they do it right. Really cool. So, I don't know if the box is worth anything, but it's, uh, it's a really cool box. Obviously something that I can uh, hold on to. And then, let's see what we got. Obviously, if we got an 87 box, we'll probably have 87 packs. But we have 87 rack packs. So... Let's pull them out one by one and let's see if we got anybody good here. Well, let's zoom in a little bit. All right. Billy Sample. Vita Blue with the San Francisco Giants. Hubby Brooks. And Puzzles. So that's one. And number two. Ray Hayward. Randy Kucher, Steve Trout, and Relations. Two dollar. Whoop. So, that's good. Where did my two dollar go? Alright, let's see. We got another one here. Alright, so, that's a cool one. Jack Clark. Rick Chubb. And Tony Jackson. Good shape. No rips so far. Good, good, good. All right. So, we got three more. So far, no, no stars showing, but I mean, you know, more about building... Building a set and a puzzle. Steve Balboni. <laughs> oh, there he is. Steve Balboni, John Trudor, 
and Kevin McReynolds. All right, let's get down to our paperwork. All right, let's see what we got here. Another one here. Glenn Davis, Mike Flanagan, and Charlie Moore. I wanted six fifty for this one. And it's got a Toys R Us sticker on it. Dollar fifty nine. Toys R Us, and then it went up to six fifty, and then it, then they looked in the back and go, why do we got fifty seven cases? Joaquin Andahar, Mike Brown, and Jeff Lighty. All right, so. Uh, 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 uh. All right, so eighty seven. Uh, we're looking for 87, Barry Bonds, Greg Maddox, Bo Jackson, Barry Larkin, Rafael Palmero, Will Clark, Kevin Brown, David Cohn, Chuck Finley, Wally Joyner, and Bobby Bonilla. So, Will Clark, and we opened a Jack, we found a Jack Clark, I think it's this one, there's a Jack Clark, so let's open that one. Again, no bubble gum, no worries. All the cards are in really great shape. Got a puzzle piece, and we begin. All right, Danny Jackson. Jim Clancy, Danny Darwin, Ron Scurry, Terry Steinbach, rated rookie. So that's cool. That'll go on my A's PC. Dwayne Ward, rated rookie. Joey Meyer. Candy Maldonado, Tom Bernoski, Glenn Davis, Joel Skinner, Paul Assessenbacher, Carney Lansford, PC, Larry Anderson. And if you haven't seen the back of these, it's that beautiful sunburnt orange back with all kinds of information on it. All right. Let's see what we can find in the next pack. How many should we open? Well, we're at eight minutes now, so I think that'll be the dictator. Tell us uh, when and where and how far we can go. So we got 80 piece, another puzzle piece. Rick Shu, there's a Hall of Fame Tom Seaver, Donnie Moore, Daryl Porter, Chuck Carey, John Cruck, Dave Steeb, Glenn Wilson, Alex Trevino, Joe Arsulak, Brian Smith, and the Diamond King of Eric Davis, Jose Aquendo, and Ed Nunez. 
So just like I'm having fun building the 87 set tops, I'm also enjoying opening up these uh, 87s. 53, 54, okay. Jack Clark. Jack Anthony Clark. With the Giants, now he's with the Cardinals. Drew Hall. Bill Buckner with Boston. John Denny. Diamond King of Keith Moreland. Tom Browning. Randy Kuchar. Hall of Famer Lee Smith. Voted in by the Veterans Committee. Gary Pettis. Calvin Chiraldi. <laughs> Ed Vandenberg. Jimmy Key. Jimmy Key's Rookie 85, Bob Nieper, and Rob Nelson. All right, so eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go one more. Why well, we still got daylight? Well, I guess it's say, I don't know, best card is Tom Seaver or the Terry Steinbach. All right. And a puzzle piece. Jeff Lady. Marvin Freeman. Dave Megadan, Randy Osdor, Osador, Kelly Downs, Bob Nieper, Cliff Speck, Manny Trio, Rafael Santana, Mark Langston, Rick Leach, Mark Portugal, Ted Higuera, Diamond King, Mike Sharperson, and George Fraser. So what do you think of this 87? Down there in the comments, did you get to open any of this fun stuff when it was around back in the day? Or have you been interested about opening rack packs? Like I said, if you're looking for vintage, I feel like it's the way to go. Another puzzle piece. Because, I mean, look at the look, look at the cards. The one has got a little black spot on the top. Besides that, perfect condition. Let's see if we can get something now. Glenn Allen Hill with a big old smile. And Old Old Wine. Jeff Robinson. Okay, so 87. Bobby Bonilla rookie card. This is our first rookie card on the list. Off center. Four sharp corners and no no uh no whiting from the blacks, so that's good. Jimmy Jones, Buddy Bell, Bruce Ruffin, Denny Walling, Danny Cox, Joe Cowley, John Candelaria, Jeff Russell, Pat Dodson, rated rookie, Casey Candelay. Ah. 
Boy, was it hot in Texas today. Holy mackerel. Heat index close to 110. Told everybody to stay inside. Yeah, but uh, I gotta go to work. Mr. Andahar, Randy Kucher, Alex Trevino, Joe Skinner, Jeff Sellers, Mark Thurman, Dave Schmem, John Stefaro, Mike Scott, Diamond King, a checklist, Bob Forsh, Chico Walker, Raphael Balliard, Ted Simmons, he's on the ballot and will be inducted uh, with Derek Jeter, underrated catcher, Ted Powers, and Mike Maddox. All right, you talked me into it. One more. We'll go quick. Yeah, we'll go quick. All right, so I open the whole rack pack. There is one puzzle piece. By the blue. I don't understand how they can know. You know? How they can know what cards are in these. Obviously, they're very good at it. Billy Sample. Here's a Diamond King checklist. Which is cool. Jim Presley. Diamond King. Here we go. There we go. I'll center a little bit. So you can see how the balls kind of tell you. The baseballs there kind of tell you that they're off center. But that's a rookie card that we like to see. Oh, is it the most valuable in the set? I think the Greg Maddox is actually. Barry Bonds or the Greg Maddox? Since Greg Maddox went to the Hall of Fame, I would say that uh, Greg Maddox would be the most valuable. Ken Landro, Charlie Libertor, Brian Downing, Rafael Santana, Ken Oberkfell, Dale Murphy. So these are still mixed up. We see a double every once in a while, but we don't see the same double. So, I mean, we got a berry back there, so that's good. Steve Lyons, there we go. There's another good card. That one's a little better centered, but still the ball's big, big over there, small over there. Roger Clemens, that's a Roger Clemens. That's a two-year, second-year card. Johnny Ray, what are you looking at? Randy Hunt, Bob James, huh. Vita Blue, I like that one, yeah, these are really off-center, this set, Chet Lemons, Steve Ontiveros, Ozzie Gian. Lindsey well, Gians, this is his second year card, because his rookie card was 86. Mini Trio. See, we've seen that one, but we haven't seen Scott Fletcher. So that's good. There's Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer. No, he's not a Hall of Famer, sorry. Eddie Murray is not. Someone already brought that to my attention. Why he isn't was his question. Kevin Bass. Look at some of his numbers. 275 home runs, 5,600 at-bats, only 1,600. So career, 299 hitter. Signed with the Orioles in 1973. Played a long time. Hits, runs, RBIs, 1,000 RBIs, steals, strikeouts. Huh. Underrated. 
quite possibly. All right, Mike Easley, Easler. Rob Thompson, John Gibbons, catcher cards, they're the best. As a kid, that's what I wanted to be when I grew up. My grandpa got me a catcher's glove. John Habian. Cecil Coop, John Shelby, Jim Burke, Hooby Brooks, Ron Davis. Where's a bow, man? Come on, I want a bow. Jack Howell, Marvell Wynn, Steve Sachs, Rob Denier. Why was that upside down? Bob Welch. Terry Templeton, Dave Clark, Mickey Hatcher, Steve Zeltz, Scott Bales, and Fernando Venezuela. Well, that's a good one. Yeah. All right. Well, how did we do? Well, we got three more packs for another night, so stay tuned. We'll be opening up some more if you enjoyed this. And uh, let's look at some of the ones we got, some of the good ones. We got some to, to set aside there. We got some puzzle pieces. You know me, I like my puzzles. I think that's fun. I think it's better than a piece of bubble gum that you end up looking at, wondering why it destroyed half your deck. Okay, I got a Fernando Venezuela, Ozzy Guillen second year, Vita Blue, near the end of his career, uh, Roger Clemens 87, Roger Clemens, so first pick in 83, so there's a Barry Bonds rookie card, number one pick June 85 amateur draft, signed with the Pirates. Bobby Bonilla was on the Pirates, too. Traded from White Sox to the Pirates for pitcher Jose De Leon. And then uh, rated rookie Terry Lee Steinbeck. Signed by the A's as their ninth round selection in June 1983 amateur draft. Not bad. I like it. I like this set. Set's a fun set. I still think 87 is one of the funner sets. I mean, yeah, there's a bunch of it, but there's also a lot of players in it that uh, that I can connect with. So, didn't get any of the real big, big, big guys, but it was fun. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed looking at things that you might not have been able to see before. Uh, it's a really cool Jose Canseco on there. Uh, that's what the puzzle I'm trying to work on. So maybe I'll get that out of this pack. I went back to see if this guy had any more after I got it and saw what he did and didn't. So vintage sports cards. Uh, $30. So there's F. So let's see. Are they... Do they have the sheets on them nope they're not like no I don't see the sheet on there so full box F item number 1807 leaf Illinois proof of purchase so all the all those things play into the whole card game. Back in the day, you know, they could you, you could basically know what was going on. So 
I, I'm learning, but I haven't gotten that good at it that I can look and say, okay, that's box F. We need to get box F to get all the good rookies out of it. But we didn't. We got a few, which is good. And we got a nice stack of cards to continue to build our set. We got another three packs to do another night. If you'd like to do it tomorrow night, why don't you tell me? If not, I think I'll hold off uh, for a little while. And uh, got this bad boy. 2020 Tops Jumbo. And uh, I'm considering going live and opening this live. I, uh, I went on a live break the other night and had fun. I did learn my lesson that if you pull a one and one out and try to show everybody your one and one, the internet's going to blow up and your feed is going to stop. So I don't know that I'll pull out my one and one, but I will be interested to know if anybody would like to join me for a live break of my jumbo hobby. So give me a comment down there if you're interested and also give me a like uh, comment, subscribe, and share. So I hope you enjoyed this 1987 Rack Pack bust out. Uh, thought it was a good time. Great cards. Always good to see the old guys, the guys that, uh, you know, made it all worthwhile. If you haven't seen this, I, I have accumulated and compiled uh, like a rookie sheet for all the different years of the 80s, which I have mainly focused on lately. And if you can, you can see that, man, there are a lot of Hall of Fame names on this list. And if they're not Hall of Fame, they're really close to being there. So uh, this is my little cheat sheet that I use. And there you can see the 87 we were after and the 86 and the 88, the 89. So all those are good. So, I hope you enjoyed that, and Charlie's Cards, over and out.